So we've got our trihexaflexagon blank template from the Gathering for Gartner site. Um, I've colored mine in according to the simple instructions for folding. So the numbers here that I've done, I've assigned a, a color to each number. And I've done that. So the threes, the ones, the, ones, and the twos. Um, now the other side still needs to be colored as well. But what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go ahead and do all the folding so that I know the, the lines, even though I can mostly see through. So here, now I've taken the, the time to make these pre-folds very precisely. Um, take the extra effort to make sure you get it right on the line, because if those angles are a little bit off, then it uh, gets tricky later. So here's our, our three over here on the left, and our two over here. So the purples here are the, the side of the face that we want. So we're going to fold under like this. I haven't colored the other side yet, just to demonstrate to you. And then we're going to fold up like this. And so purple, oh, what's that doing up there? All right, fold it in front. Okay, so those are our, our purples. And these two here would be a purple. If we flip it over, there's the green there. So the green, so those are our uncolored greens. And on the insides are our uncolored, or our yellows. Okay. So if you remember on, on Vi Hart's video, she started with them all white. And uh, this is just showing you that you can still start them all white if you can get that initial sequence of, of folding it up properly. So the, having the three up here, fold under, fold back again that way, and then there. Here, I've taped it. I haven't finished coloring it in yet, though, because I wanted to give you a, a way to, to know which way to fold it. So you can, you're going to be able to, to fold it. There's sort of three, three of these ways on this side will work. Yeah, maybe that's why it's a try. So what you want to do, what I'm doing here is taking the, the, the white piece, you're going to fold it in, fold it in, fold it in. So see how you're kind of push, pinching them all in? And then it ends up making this this type of shape. Okay. Some people say to push in at the corners. Um, but it, that doesn't exactly work for me. And now you'll notice that this side here opens up. Uh, okay. So another, I'll just un undo that one. Undo that for you. Um, the other way to, to know which way is going to be where you want to open it, if you kind of feel here, see how there's the bit of the the up there, right? There's a bit of an up there too, so it would work. It would work over there as well. Okay, uh, so it would work over there as well. And there's also an up here, right? So this one here is flat, doesn't have the up. Yeah, that one's flat, doesn't have the up. That one yeah, is has the up, and that one's flat. So those ones with the up is how you can orient yourself to do the fold. And I fail. I didn't push right, I pushed enough. That's the up, so it has to be at the top. So it's easy to make mistakes. So that's the up, so it has to be in the middle of the fold. Up, so give it kind of a one half. And you can see here we taped that one so it's not uh, down as flat as I'd like. Normally we glue it. You pull the camera back with your finger at the lens. Up. Now we're going to try our first hexahexaflexagon. So it's a longer strip. Pull the camera back, please. And so it's. A, B, L M C D N O E F P Q D H R S I D T And then there's this K at the other side where the A is. Now you might wonder why there's this gap here, but what we're gonna do next. Gonna fold it around like that, and now we have them in order. A, B, C, D. Back, please. 
Там тихо. Okay. And now it's the size of the trihexaflexagon like before. So you got to kind of keep it squeezed as you fold it just like you fold the trihexaflexagon. Top. Now the other side will be the T and the K, and that's what you're going to do. Your glue on. Glue or tape. A glue or tape, yes, thank you. And then it'll, in theory, be like the others. Now we are folding our hexaflexagon. A hexaflex, a hexaflexagon. Okay. And we have our. Hey, where'd that come from? <laughs> So this is the difference between the trihexahexaflexagon and the hexahexaflexagon. The tri had the three sides, and we said to only half of them would be able to fold. Right? We felt under the edge to know which one to fold. On the hexahexaflexagon, this one has an edge on every one. So if you fold there, you go that way. But if you just rotate it just a tad and fold there, you get <laughs> you get a different one. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching.